Okay, uh, in this portion, we will discuss about how we could solve a rectilinear motion having such types of uh, problem. So this problem stated that in an arcuri test, the accelerations of the arrow decreases linearly with a distance s from its initial value of 16,000 feet per second square at point A upon a railways to zero at point B after it travels 24 inch or uh, 2 feet so calculate the maximum velocity V of uh, the arrow this is the equation now let's try to apply the basic concept for solving this equation now let's have so given we'll write this one so from the given part we have acceleration at point a is equals to 16,000 feet per second square and acceleration at point b is zero and then the distance from point a up to point b is 24 inch which is equals to 2 feet and now do you have any other value the acceleration is uh, proportional to the distance s with linearly but it will decrease from the initial point to the final one now let's see that one how we could relate that one that means the given acceleration is equals to as a function of displacement now let's relate this one first so if you have a graph just like this one so if this is a distance and if this one is an acceleration graph so the acceleration is decreasing linearly from this one to this one that means when the distance the first distance is zero at zero point so its acceleration were the 16,000 remember this number and then when the distance is two feet since we have we are converted every unit in the US customer unit is two feet at the distance of two feet the acceleration becomes zero that means it will be just a linear line just like this one so acceleration this is a linear function so acceleration can be expressed as c1 s plus c2 that means x equals to c1 uh, y is equals to c1 x plus c2 just like a linear line function now so acceleration will be a function of it just like this one now let's substitute the numerical value to calculate both unknowns so acceleration at s is equals to 0 is 16,000 okay this implies that if you substitute here 16,000 is equals to now c1 times s s is now 0 okay c1 s plus c2 but c s at 0 since it's 0 so c2 can be equals to 16,000 so c2 is is equals to 16,000 now let's calculate c1 acceleration at s is equals to 2 feet is 0 this implies that 0 is equals to s is now 2 2 c1 what's the value of c2 it's 16,000 so here is the only known is c1 so if, if it is in and collected in uh, the left side so it will be negative so negative 16,000 divided by 2 will be minus 8,000 so c1 is equals to negative 8,000 once we have this, the final acceleration 
is equals to now c1 is negative 8000 s plus c2 which is 16,000 so this is just our functions of acceleration now once we have this now if acceleration is as a function of displacement we have a formula that can correlate this equation so that formula is v dv is equals to a ds we can use this formula which is generated from the lecture part so velocity times dv equals to ads now applying this formula as an integration part let's calculate how we could do this one again so now we can recognize that the acceleration is as a function of displacement and then also the velocity will be also as a function of displacement so to get the maximum value for any function we will uh, derivate it with respect to the given parameter and then we will make it to be zero and then at that position we can calculate the uh, given equation and then we will have the maximum value so in this case to get the maximum value of the velocity we have to drive or we have to, we have, to have a function like dv by ds should be zero if we rearrange this equation one that means dv divided by ds then finally we'll have dv by ds can be equals to what a over v now simply we rearrange that equation now this function should be zero so we call it as zero and the other means if you multiply with the crisscross finally we'll have acceleration is equals to zero now we know the position that where the acceleration should be zero so uh, the accelerations will be zero at two feet or 24 inch we know that so the velocity at that point will be maximum the other one acceleration will be zero so acceleration is equals to zero at s equals to two feet simply we'll integrate or we'll try and try to find out the value the velocity at two feet distance and then we'll substitute that equation and then finally we can get the maximum velocity of the system v is equals to a ds let's both side integrate them so the integration of v dv is equals to half v square that means from the initial velocity v not up to v and then the integration of a ds so two can be we are arranging to this direction that means v squared minus v naught squared is equal to two will be in this direction so two integrations so of what's the acceleration function the acceleration function is minus eight thousand s plus sixteen thousand ds so v square minus v naught squared is equals to two times now what's the integrations of this function integrations of 8000 s it will be 8000 s square over 2 that means it will become minus 4000 s square and then the other one 16000 will be plus 16 thousand s because it's a constant now this is from s not up to s this function will be in this way so v not 
square normal it is zero because uh, at velocity initial velocity at point a is zero because uh, when we want to fire the arc we will stretch in the left direction then we will release into the right one that means when it return to the right direction it will be zero at that point or at point a or at the initial position it's not so this one will finally be equals to if we multiply with two and this is negative eight thousand is squared to times this one plus thirty two thousand s now what's the value of s now the value of s is when it reaches at point b that is 24 inch or 2 feet so we substitute 2 here so finally velocity is we know that the initial velocity is 0 so v squared is equals to negative 8000 times 2 squared plus 32 times 2 so now what will be the value so v squared is equals to 32,000 it will become 32,000 now velocity is under radical this one so velocity will be the radical of 32,000 which is approximately 179 so finally our velocity will be this one it is feet per second we have to write at the final stage at the velocity with its uh, unit so this is how we uh, really solve this uh, problem thank you guys for watching us please subscribe our channel we'll deliver you different interesting videos